Hey, uh, this is George Heminger. I just spoke with Kevin, and um, yeah. I'm an independent journalist, and he said there might be something that uh, we need to uh, help out on here. Yeah, you know, my daughter was born last night, and uh, DC Lab came in today and fucking took her away from us. I with no fucking grounds at all. Okay, can you give me the details as much as you feel comfortable so we can get this out? What's going on? What, what hospital? What's your name? What happened? My name's Jonathan Adrian, A-T-H-O-N. Last name Irish, I-R-I-S-H. And uh, describe what happened for us. Well, we, uh, we were trying to lay down and relax. I was trying to get a little bit of rest because I didn't sleep much last time the baby was making a noise. And as I'm laying down, the director of security and the head nurse come in and say, oh, because uh, my fiance and I had gone and told them that we wanted, um, that we wanted to have the pediatrician come check out the baby so that we could get discharged and go home. Well, the director of security comes in with the head, of the head nurse and says, oh, we're going to take the baby to the nursery to have the pediatrician check her out so you guys can go home. They lied to us. They got us to, to allow them to take our daughter under false pretense. As a matter of fact, we didn't even have a choice. I tried to stop them and tell them to bring the doctor in the room, and they refused to, and they just wheeled our daughter out in the bassinet. Well, I followed them out because I had a very bad cup dealing. And as I'm following them out, I see one and then two and then three different individuals wearing suits. And I saw detective badges. Um, next thing you know, the, uh, I'm talking to one of the nurses. Um, and the head of security comes back around and hauls me into the into my fiance's room. And he says, they want to talk to you. You need to calm down. You need to have an open mind. Hear them out. They are only looking out for the best interest of the baby. I'm like, who are they? And he says, DCYF, which is Division of Child Youth and Family Services. And next thing you know, three uniform patrolmen, and I believe it was three or four detectives, come into my fiance's room with uh, two DCYF social workers. And they, the officer, I'm sitting on the couch and one of the officers uh, asked me if he could pat me down. I say, no, well, what the hell is going on? I'm sick of this around him. What is going on? Then they forced me to stand up had my hands behind my back and patted me down. Took my cigarette lighter, my thick lighter, took my pocket knife, and then proceeded to tell me that they are taking our daughter. My, my fiance didn't even get any time to bond with the baby. They came in and stole our child. In the affidavit, uh, I can't get to it right now because I'm actually on the road. Um, but it says that I have, that they know I have a uh, background in affiliation and I'm a member of a militia known as Oath Keepers. And first of all, I don't know if you know anything about Oath Keepers, but it's far, a far cry from a militia. Um, Matter of fact, the Oath Keepers frowns upon any kind of um, armed uprising, I guess you could say, which is what a militia, in which is what a militia prepares for. Um, and they tried refusing to allow me to give my daughter a hug and a kiss. And then Officers left, the I up left, and I get to spend two minutes with my daughter. My fiance gets to spend a few minutes with her, and then we were told to leave.
I'm in shock. I'm in total shock. Um, a matter, a matter of fact, at the DCYF left, I was informed by the head of security um, that he would have a security officer standing outside the room and following my every move. Okay. Um, any 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 other details that you want to disclose? Is is there any other any anything else you want to get out there? And is there a way you know people can get a hold of you, a Facebook page or something to to help out with um, you know I don't know attorney support or or some or something else like that? Do you want people to try to reach you? Yeah, I do. Um, my Facebook page that they can contact me on is. Um, it's Stephanie, here's my fiance, it's Stephanie Janvren, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E, spell, Janvren, yeah, spell that one more time, I'm sorry, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E, Okay, well, I'm going to get this out on the George for Title channel. We'll get this out to everybody that I know. And uh, uh, did, you get, did you get her last name down? Get, uh, go ahead, say it. Jamberna, Julia, Alpha, Nancy, Victor, Romeo, India, Nancy. Okay, we'll get this out right now. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm just in shock. Um, hang, hang tight, okay? And you got my cell number. Uh, give me a call in a little bit. We'll see what we can do, okay? Definitely. Thank you. Take care. Who were all these brave men, like the ones that fought the first revolution? They've been made mute by video games and football. They have been made effeminate by liberal upbringing into accepting the gay lifestyle. And they have been made into metrosexuals and neutered. It has been suggested that there are 10 million militia men and women in this country. That may be so, but do we have the men with the right, the right kind of men, the the men with the fortitude and principles, and men with big enough kahunas that they can stand up to authority and put them on the line, or do we have men that will drop their arms because their mascara is running? Only time will tell, and may history favor the brave. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Хорошо, подберите все вместе. Emergency, everybody to get from street. Street? Нет, нет, нет. Emergency. 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 Молчи.